Hello Sagittarius, welcome to another love reading. This is going to be a how they feel about you love reading. We're going to be looking at how they're, how they're feeling about you, but also what's going on in your connection and what are their next actions going to be towards you. Um, as always, this is going to be a general love reading, so it will not resonate with everyone. Take what resonates, leave the rest. If it doesn't resonate at all, then check out my playlist for Sagittarius. I have a bunch of videos there. So let's get into it. I'm using a new deck today that I absolutely love so far. It's this really like beautiful gilded deck. I'll have it linked down below in like the decks that I use. And probably the best thing I love about this deck is that it's not that big. I can shuffle um, pretty easily. So super excited about that. Um, I hope you've all been doing well. For Sagittarius. Do they need to know okay we got seven of pentacles reverse and the six of wands reverse okay i hope that this shows up it's a beautiful deck um so not very well apparently what's going on in love is a lot of um kind of wondering if you've been with the right person or in the right connection maybe you have doubts about the future of your connection maybe You've invested a lot of time and effort and energy into something that hasn't been very successful. What else for Sagittarius? I got two more. Uh, two of Swords reverse, Five of Pentacles reverse. Um, you've had a tough decision to make. I don't know if you've made it yet. This could also be your person someone wants to um not struggle anymore essentially someone someone's really thinking like um is this worth it could i be successful elsewhere um this has been too much work um, maybe there's a decision that's finally been made this could also be that someone in this connection you or your person are finally making a decision regarding you know having some sort of recovery or coming back in out of the cold we'll see when i clarify what else for sagittarius what messages do you have spirit Ooh, judgment nice there's been a wake-up call here and and in this situation this connection someone's had some sort of epiphany revelation about what about what hasn't been manifested magician reversed so once again it's this energy of something is not really working out or it's not really what i thought it was going to be or you know maybe someone's having a realization that something didn't work out for a reason and maybe it wasn't meant to work out You do another deck. Let's clarify these. For Sagittarius, please, Spirit. I'm obsessed with the artwork of this deck. It, it, it's like a gilded... Um, the, the backgrounds, you know, they're just so shiny. It looks so pretty in person. So let's see. Let's get some more information here. Tell me more about this Six of Wands reverse for Sagittarius. Why is the Six of Wands reverse? The Star reverse, Aquarius energy. Tell me more about the Six of Wands reverse. Okay, it's way too many, but I'm just gonna look at them. Okay, so um, what I'm picking up here is that this probably had a lot of potential at least to one person in this connection they really thought this had a lot of potential um but i think someone is recognizing their worth and seeing you know seeing the the writing on the wall tell me about the six of wands reverse someone has chosen a path yep someone has chosen a path they've decided that they're going to do something 
here. They're going to have a new beginning or a new cycle where they are going to be successful. So in a situation that felt hopeless or someone feeling like maybe things aren't going to work out, there's a possibility that one of you or both of you decide to, to have success in this connection, or it could be that someone's going to decide to have a new beginning elsewhere. Tell me about this world. Someone's got, yeah, someone's standing up for themselves with the Seven of Wands. So this could very well be that you, Sagittarius, or this other person, you know, I don't know if this is happening within your connection or outside of your connection, but it's like you're fighting back against something that hasn't been successful or something that hasn't been quite um, the best investment here. And someone's deciding, I'm tired of things not working out. I'm tired of not having the success or the potential that I know I can have. And so they're like going after some sort of new beginning here. What's this five of pentacles reverse? Oh my gosh, clarify by the five of pentacles reverse. Are you kidding me? Oh, the odds of that are very slim. <laughs> okay. All right, spirit. Can I get one more please for the five of pentacles reverse? Again, this is a choice. Two of Pentacles reverse, two of Swords reverse. Someone has made a choice. Tell me more about this two of uh, Pentacles reverse, please. Yeah, this is judgment. This is all connected. Someone has had a realization, an epiphany, or some sort of awakening here about what they want. It has to do with a new beginning. Now, I don't know if this is a new beginning, again, with you or outside of you. I feel like I haven't really gotten that confirmation. We'll see when I um, dig deeper. But, you know, I, I have a feeling that one of you in this connection is going to do something about this. Tell me more about judgment over here, please. With the magician reverse. What is judgment doing over here? Yeah, this is the emperor. Aries energy, this is someone taking charge of the situation because there hasn't been any progression. Could be dealing with an Aries as well. I have Aquarius here. Can I get one more for the Semper? Where's the Emperor here? Yeah, the Chariot. This is a very clear reading. This Emperor is moving forward past something that hasn't been progressing. So, you know, whatever has felt like it's not moving, there's no progression, there's no movement, this emperor is going to take charge of the situation and move forward towards success. Again, six of wands here. This is the very, they're motivated by actually having something successful. Could be dealing with a cancer. I have a cancer there. Um, cancer energy with the chariot. But, you know, this to me is a very clear cut reading let's see how is this person feeling about you sagittarius i'm gonna use my new deck the secret moon oracle deck this is out now link down below how are they thinking or feeling about sagittarius please Spirit, tell us how this person's feeling or thinking about sagittarius Oops. i have a lot on my plate how are they thinking or feeling about Sagittarius? Please forgive me. One more, please. How are they thinking or feeling? I want you. Okay. I feel like this, this chariot is going right to, right to you. Like this chariot with this emperor that's you you are the goal is what i'm picking up there tell us more about how this person is thinking or feeling about sagittarius please what are they thinking or feeling what are they thinking or feeling about sagittarius 
Nine of Wands reverse. What are they thinking or feeling about Sagittarius? Two of Wands reverse. Wow, the lovers. This is a this is a choice right here. Two of Wands reverse with the lovers. This is someone choosing a path with a certain person. Your person is the one making the choice. That's what I'm seeing here with the Two of Wands reverse, the Two of Swords reverse, Two of Pentacles. This is your person having clarity with the Judgment card. They haven't moved forward. They probably invested in the wrong thing here, and it's almost like they're they're ready to give up on something that hasn't worked out for them. That's what I'm seeing here. Like they they're ready to like just pick a new path altogether here. If I could pick up my cards. Um, and I feel like with the Seven of Pentacles reverse, this has probably been um, a long time coming for them. Or they've been in a situation with this Nine of Wands where they've been at it for a long time or they've been struggling for a long time. And they just don't want to struggle anymore. Now, I don't know why they're asking for forgiveness. Let's see. Tell me more about this lover's card, please. Wow, there's the star. Beautiful. And this one wants to come out too. And the nine of swords. So, wow. I love this deck so much. So we have the star, which before was reversed. So it's almost like they're finding hope again. This person. And it's almost like despite the fear or the anxiety that this person might be having right now in their situation um they have like hope or faith in this new partner or this new choice they want to make bottom of the deck seven of cups reversed and the two of swords reversed so I, again this is a choice that someone's making and I feel like with the Seven of Cups reverse, there's some sort of clarity here for your person. There's fear, but I think at the same time, there's hope. You know, it's almost like the hope is hope over fear is what I'm feeling here. Tell me more about this Lover's card. Can I get one more? Seven of Cups reverse. Okay. And the Tower. Wow, we got the Tower. This choice is going to probably bring about some sort of tower moment and again i feel like this is your person um having this tower moment happen here i feel like they're they're afraid of this tower because you know they're human um ten of pentacles at the bottom this could have something to do with money or family but i feel like they're still gonna go for it tell me about the two of wands reverse Seven of Pentacles reverse. Again, it's almost like this, um, their bad investment, they probably invested in the wrong person, the wrong thing, or made a wrong choice in the past. Um, they've been attached to this. They haven't been free of this. This choice is about being free because they haven't been happy where they're at. Nine of Cups reverse, Six of Swords reverse. Yeah, they, they're trying to leave a situation that they're not happy with, Sagittarius. This is a very clear reading to me. So let's see, what are their next actions going to be towards you? Let me pick a different deck here. Even though I love this one so much. Okay. What are their next actions going to be? Towards Sagittarius. What are their next actions going to be? Sagittarius. Now I'm going to pick a few cards here for their next actions. What are their next actions going to be towards Sagittarius? Oh, I got two. Ooh. Ooh, okay. This person's going back and forth. I have the star reversed again. Five of Pentacles. Um, not five of Pentacles. Five of Wands reversed. This is someone that doesn't want to fight, doesn't want to deal with the drama. I feel like their progress is going to be very slow, but they're... Um, they're coming to you with some sort of an offer here with the Knight of Cups. This could be an apology as well. Please forgive me. This could be an apology because maybe they gave up hope or they gave up on this connection. Maybe they let their fear get in the way in the past. 
maybe they didn't fight for you when they should have. But I feel like that's that's something that they're working on. Tell me about the Knight of Pentacles reverse. I'm, I'm thinking there's some sort of obstacle in this person's way here. Five of Pentacles reverse again. So this could have something to do with money, finances, or just being kind of like, you know, shut out here. Perhaps, um, oh, the higher font reverse. Some of you could be dealing with someone who's already in some sort of a commitment or someone who the decision that they have to make is not is, is almost like a rebellious decision or something that's unexpected for this person. Maybe people don't expect this person to make this kind of choice, but I don't think that's going to hold them back. Tell me. Knight of Swords reverse. Interesting. There could be verbal conflict here, not between you and this person, but it's almost like there's someone here uh, surrounding this connection that's not um, easy to deal with. Ace of Swords, Ace of Pentacles reverse. Interesting. Um, hmm. I feel like there's going to be with the higher font reverse and the ace of pentacles reverse this is a broken commitment or a, some sort of a financial difficulty financial loss because a certain contract is broken i feel like someone's going to be very upset about this but with the ace of swords this is like very direct unemotional cutting out of a situation or you know fear or what whatever this is someone that is almost like it's almost like this is the voice of reason and this is someone freaking out is how I'm seeing it. I feel like someone's not going to be happy at the fact that someone is breaking this contract. Tell me about this Knight of Cups. Someone's overcoming the fear. This is all connected. We have the Knight of Swords reversed this time. Yep, with the with the Emperor again. So this is someone who they're overcoming their fear in order to bring you some sort of offer here. Very like straight to the point reading um, for you Sagittarius. This is this might be um, maybe it won't resonate with every single person watching, but I feel like the message was clear from beginning to end. And I feel like that's because someone's meant to hear this message. Um, so let me know if this resonated for you down in the comments. Um, consider hitting the like button and subscribing if you enjoy the readings. If you'd like to check out the Secret Moon Oracle deck, this is linked down below. Thank you so much to everyone who uh, supports the channel, comes back and watches the readings. I really appreciate it. Anybody who likes, shares, comments, and subscribes, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Take care.